sun is a lot. But I just dropped off all my stuff at my storage unit. And now I'm going for my hot girl walk. I am so excited. I'm going to the Maniung Trail. If you're familiar with the Philly area or Maniung, it's so cute. I love this little trail. And it was kind of destroyed by the flood, Hurricane Ida, I believe, this past year. So I'm so excited to be on it for the first time since then. And that's about it. I went and saw my apartment again. So that was super exciting. And now I'm going to go for my walk. Christmas that we expected, but I have some terrible news. I have COVID. I started feeling a little bit bad, a little under the weather Tuesday when I drove home from Philadelphia, actually. I had a little bit of a sore back and I felt a little achy, but I thought that it was just because I was in the car forever. I was driving for like six and a half hours. So I thought that that was the reason why I felt a little sore, a little achy. As time went on, I felt worse and worse. I ended up taking a COVID test, a rapid like at home test on they said today, Thursday. I took it I am losing track of the days. But I took the rapid COVID test on Wednesday, I believe. And it was negative. So I felt fine. But then I went to bed and it felt a lot worse. When I woke up, I took another one and it was very clearly positive. So now we're in quarantine. It's honestly not too bad. I My major symptoms were I was feeling a little achy. I was feeling very achy. I had nasal congestion. Here's mom. But anyways, back to my symptoms. I felt really achy. My back hurt, which was kind of weird. And I had a low-grade fever. And then overnight, I got a little bit stuffy. And I just had, like, hot and cold flashes. 
but I feel a lot better in the morning after I took a shower and I'm sitting upright. Like there's something about when you're sick and it's at night, it just, it's terrible. It feels like you're dying, but I'm not lying. <laughs> Anyways, so been having all my food and stuff, just my mom and sister just leave it outside the door and I go pick it up. And if they come in here, I wear a mask. Um, they wear a mask. We're being very careful, but... Merry Christmas to me. It's kind of convenient because our living room is right outside my door. So, and I also get the um, balcony. My mom and the sister aren't going out there. So that's kind of nice. So I can go get some fresh air if I need it. Especially since it's like 60 in Virginia right now. So that's very convenient. But anyways, I'm just resting up. I'll update you later. to this train but I am obsessed with Game of Thrones it is so good literally like two years late but I cannot stop watching it <laughs> turkey and mom's cutting the turkey with her intense electronic knife. <laughs> I'm scared. I am too. <laughs> decided that you know I've been feeling puny these past couple days so today I am going to try to get my life together it's time for that I am going to study for my new job I am going to sort of plan my week out and get all those little loose ends tied up that I've been meaning to do I just hate when I have like 5,000 things that I have to get done and I just haven't gotten any of them done so procrastination anyways so I figured I'd take you along with me so here we go let's be productive Too. Got my little helper here with me. Wendy. She's so sleepy. The next order of business for today is I need to study up my 
job. Actually, the attendings gave me a little packet of information about just sort of how the flow of the unit, tips for charting, um, some of the diagnoses that you'll see on the floor. And so my goal for today, I have three packets, I believe. And so my goal for today is to get through at least one of them. I think one a day is probably a good goal just so that I'm not overwhelmed, but super excited to learn something. And I think this will be a great tool to review before I start. <clears throat>